everyone welcome to or welcome back to my channel i hope everyone's having an awesome fourth of july weekend i'm actually not having an awesome fourth of july weekend my little tiger is not feeling well he has an ear infection i had to run him to the vet on thursday and he's still not completely himself he's getting eardrops he stumbles when he walks because i guess he has vertigo from the ear infection it's happened before so I'm really, really praying that he gets better and that he's more himself. It's a shame. He walks around as much as he can and he's looking at his toys and I guess he wants to play and do things and he really can't. So right now he's sleeping in the basement and I'm hoping that he comes back up soon. He likes to go down there. I don't know why, but let's just hope that he comes back. But probably going to be home most of the weekend just watching him and making sure that he's okay so i do have an unboxing today this is a new to me item from longchamp it's a bag and i did see this bag when i was at the longchamp store in manhattan when i was with the bag girls and i really really liked it came home i had some bloomingdale's reward loyalty cash coming to me and this was on sale, so I figured, well, win-win, might as well take a chance. My last experience with Bloomingdale's was not great. It was a few weeks ago, I ordered a C by Chloe bag. I filmed the unboxing, somehow or other it got deleted, and they sent the bag to me with the bag charm missing, the top was squashed down, I mean, it, it wasn't good. And then I had to waste a day going back to Bloomingdale's to return it. So let's hope that this doesn't get returned. It also took eight days for them to send it to me. I, why, I don't know. It was actually at the post office since Wednesday and why it took from Wednesday until Saturday to get here. Your guess is as good as mine. So here is the box. Here is my box cutter. Let's try to do this easily. The box doesn't look damaged, so hopefully what's inside is not gonna be damaged either. But in case you're ever wondering, and I mentioned this before, why your boxes are a mess when you get them, it's because if they're coming UPS or the post office, they have no time to be particular when they put things on the belt in order to get them out. They just have to get it and throw it because they're on a time crunch. So this looks like it came from a Bloomingdale's store. I have my return label here. Hopefully I'm not gonna use it. Oh, it is wrapped in plastic, so here's the bag. And I didn't even look to see where this was shipped from. Here is the bag, it's in the dust bag. I'm hoping that this is new, not something that was hanging around for a little while, like my other little Chloe bag. So, can I slide this out? Yeah, it's just much easier. Oh, and it does look like it's new. So here it is in its dust bag, wrapped in plastic and factory sealed. So that's also a good thing. And let's open it up and take a look. Small bag, guys. Any ideas what this is? I know that this is the top. Let me take a peek. Oh, oh, she's pretty. Yeah, let's see to reveal. Oh, this is the Rousseau Clutch. And the color is grass. And hopefully you're gonna be able to see it's a really vibrant green. It's in the box leather. So it's a smooth calf leather. It feels really fabulous. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to take the stuffing out of it because oh, it smells awesome. I want you guys to see the inside of the bag. There are six card slots on the wall of the bag and they call this velvet cowhide inside but it's basically just the raw leather. And as you can see, there are snaps on either side. So you can take it. I'm gonna have to put this down to do it right. Whoa! 
Guys, if you heard that boom, that was Henry jumping off the back of a chair. Right, this is going to be a little bit challenging, I have to say. Okay, that's one side in. Here is the other side. So I got one in. I'm going to work on number two. Okay. Okay, so you could snap the sides in like such. And what does this bag remind you of, guys? This is one of the things that I really loved when I saw it. There it goes, it's a magnetic snap closure. It looks so much like the Louis Vuitton favorite. So you could poke the sides in like this, or I actually like it when they're out a little bit more, but of course this has to break in. It will get softer because the bags that I saw at the Longchamp Boutique, the leather was already softened up a little bit and it seemed like you could snap and unsnap the sides a little easier. It comes with this really pretty silver chain and it's probably gonna be fine, excuse me, crossbody. It's a little short, but it's not bad. I will wear it like this comes a little bit above my waist, but it's okay. Or you can wear it just as a shoulder bag, like this. Or, since these are clips where you can remove the strap, you can take the strap off. See, it attaches here on these little D-rings. You can take the strap off and you can attach whatever strap you want. So, I really, really like that idea. And if you've been watching my channel, you know that I have a Farindol sus chain that looks like Hermes that I use with one of my Hermes bags. And I definitely, actually I use it with a couple of my Hermes bags because I've used it with the pillow pouch. But I would definitely attach that onto here. See how easy it just comes off. It's these little dog, well, I guess they're sort of dog leash clips. Let me get it a little closer. And they have the Longchamp logo. I love that it's silver. And since this, this is from the Rousseau line, it does come with a little silver bamboo clasp. That's just a beautiful little piece of jewelry on the bag. And it does have plastic over it, so let me take the plastic off. And now you can see how beautiful and shiny. Look how pretty. But I just thought that this was a beautiful bag. And it was it's actually still available on Bloomingdale's, and I believe on the Longchamp website. They have it in this color and a gorgeous chocolate brown. And these were marked down to 315. And if you have any points, of course, you can use it to get some money back or some extra money off. And I think that this is a fabulous bag. So I will be doing a video to show what fits and how I'm using it. <coughs> Excuse me. It's approximately eight inches long by five inches tall by about two and a half inches wide. I'm pretty sure that those were the measurements. And I'm happy. I mean, how could you not be happy? I really love Longchamp, guys. I think that, you know, for a contemporary brand, I do think that they are a step above. I think that they are better than Coach or Tory Burch. They really stick to their classic styles and then every year they do a little bit more of an improvement on them. They change it up enough to make it refreshed, but to still keep a lot of those classic elements. And they use excellent leathers. So again, this bag also comes in sort of like a Saffiano grain leather, which is a little less expensive. Pretty sure that this retails for $450 before any discounts and that's for the box leather and this the grain leather version is a little bit less 
they are, oh, maybe around the three, 375 range or, or somewhere around there. And there were a bunch of them on sale in seasonal colors on the website. But this style is a staple bag. Only seasonal colors will go on sale. And speaking of grabbing things while they're still on sale, I'm sure a lot of you have heard Longchamp is discontinuing the Le Pliage, the classic Le Pliage in the medium side with the shoulder handle. So if you were ever interested in that bag, go run, grab it. ASAP while you still have an opportunity. So let me know in the comments what you think about this bag, what you think about this style, and if this would be something you would be interested in purchasing. And I know that they are available right now in Bloomingdale's, of course, and I believe also on Saks and Nordstrom as well. But again, I don't know how many of the sale colors are going to be available on those websites. This is the only one that's available right now in Bloomingdale's and it is in this beautiful grass. So thank you all for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and give this a thumbs up if you like this video. And I will see you soon. Coming up with a tag video this week, kind of midweek-ish. So look forward to that. And I will talk to you later. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye-bye.